one thing farmers always rely on is sunshine and rain. And sometimes too much of a good thing can truly change the game. Right now we're in more of a dry spell, but we've got rain chances that will slowly increase over the next several days. Something that's also increasing is our visibility issues. Here's a live look overlook at Music City. If you look close enough, you can tell there's a little bit of fog out there. Main concern for fog still area is just across the plateau. Current temperature right now a lot warmer than yesterday. We're starting out 66 degrees here in Davidson County. You head your way elsewhere where we're still five to even six degrees warmer visibility altered areas just across the plateau. Warren Van Buren White Putnam counties. Please be mindful heading out. You know those spots. It's the same song and dance the ri the rivers and of course near the valleys where we are picking up some of that visibility issue. The power five radars were just picking up ground clutter for now, but with these winds out of our south, they're slowly but surely easing in a little bit more moisture and then we've got a system to our west. It's pretty slow to move its way in. That's why rain chances not a huge concern today, but I can't rule out one or two spotty showers in West Tennessee that would try and skirt closer into Paris or even portions of Christian County as we do go throughout the afternoon with our moisture content a little higher. Temperatures are holding strong. That's why we are a step up higher when it comes to the numbers this morning. You head your way just over into Summertown. You're starting out 62 degrees. The city at 66 Clarksville 62 60 in Bowling Green McMinnville Cookville Crossville, you guys have a slightly lower moisture content. That's why you were able to drop into the 50s. As we head throughout the day, we're going to start out with a ton of sunshine, just a few clouds, which will lead to a beautiful sunrise in about two hours and 20 minutes. And then as we head throughout the afternoon, you're going to notice these clouds trying to filter their way in. That is from the system off to our far west. That will bring one or two spotty showers at best areas closer into the Paris location. Then we head our way into tomorrow. More clouds are going to move in. It's not going to be completely gray day, but it's going to be noticeably different than what it looks like today. And because of that, I do anticipate one or two spotty showers to take place. Again, best locations look to be I 65 westward, and you can tell with this model run, it's just not real impressive. You're still going to need to get out there and hand water it yourself if you've got some plants in place. But this weekend for your outdoor plans, still keep them. But our rain chances do go up. This model run is a very large brush stroke, so it's not very detail oriented. This is like somebody just giving you a very broad overview of what to expect. I do look to see some scattered showers heading into Saturday. Better scattered showers will move in on Sunday and Monday before exiting out Tuesday morning. It's not going to take over your entire weekend, but it will be some better chances than what we have observed. Your seven day forecast includes temperatures above average the next few days, 87 today, 85 tomorrow. And once that system moves in, then we're cooling back off. It's that roller coaster. We're about to hit the peak and then we're headed on down the ramp with highs Monday, Tuesday in the upper 70s.